Hello, today I'm going to show you how to get rid of the HitFilm Express watermark. As you can see, it is absolutely massive when you export a video, and that's not all. Uh, this is a quick sample video that I've created using HitFilm Express, and if I now press play, as well as the watermark that goes over it, you do get this annoying tone sounding every couple of seconds. So the combination of the two things does make it pretty much unusable in the current state to create a video. But thankfully, there is a really easy way, and I'm going to pause that now before it gets too annoying. There is a really easy way to remove the watermark, and it doesn't involve you spending any money at all on HitFilm Express. So I'm going to jump over into HitFilm Express now and show you how to remove the watermark. It's really easy. So we've made it, I've jumped over into HitFilm Express now and if you followed the instructions in our previous video installing HitFilm Express you're probably wondering what this watermark is because it doesn't appear for you and when we said there's a really important step that you shouldn't skip um, if you've still got the watermark when you're exporting you did skip that step so make sure you take a look at that video on installing HitFilm Express to ensure that you've followed all the steps that you needed. So firstly, if you've not registered for an account, it's really important that you jump back onto the HitFilm Express website and register for your account, free account. Uh, I'll pop the link to the video in the description so that you can take a look at the installation video again to take you all through that process. But essentially at this point, you might be thinking, has HitFilm Express one of these uh, pieces of software that actually just ends up being a free demo that isn't much to, much good to use but actually it is a really powerful piece of software but you do need to remember to activate and unlock it so when you start hit film express you've possibly seen the screen and one of the things that you've maybe done is close that now and you end up in hit film express you start a new project you've exported it and all of a sudden you have been then unable to export it without this watermark and the tone over it. In the latest version of HitFilm Express, you can actually see whether you've been able to um, activate it successfully because you will notice that there is an activate button up in this top right corner if you haven't already activated it. In previous versions it wasn't as clear but it's really simple um, to remove the watermark. All you have to do is click on the activate button which will bring back up that screen that we've just closed and if you click activate and unlock here using the email address and the password that you signed up for on the website you now need to enter this in here so once you've entered that email address in there whichever you use to register on the HitFilm Express website and entered your password as well as soon as you click log in there it will start the activation process so I've now got uh, the username that I registered with, which is the email address you registered with, and the password entered into the email address and password boxes. And if I click on the login button now, it will say that it's loading for a bit and then it will prompt you to restart the application. So once I click close on here, the application is still open. You'll notice the activate button is still there. So what you will have to do is close down the HitFilm Express application using the red cross in the corner and then restart the application. Now that we've restarted HitFilm Express from the start menu, the first thing you'll notice is that annoying nag screen that pops up will no longer pop up for you and also if you look in the top right hand corner you'll notice the activate button has disappeared now. So what this does mean is that if we create a file now using HitFilm Express both the audible ding which gets annoying as well as the watermark on our exported videos will now be removed. So I've opened up a new project now and as you can see the previous export there is finished which was the video that I showed you right at the beginning. If I then right click on this to do exactly the same again and I click on duplicate tasks you'll notice that it's now ready 
to start re-exporting that video again. If I press on start exporting now, it will start the process. So it normally takes a few seconds for it to get going. Once it's actually started, we will notice that the progress bar starts going up, but we're also seeing a preview. And the first thing you can notice in this preview is that that big watermark is gone. So whilst it exports for a sec, I will pause the video and then we can have a look at the final product. So the export task has now finished there. We've got a video of exactly the same duration. It's re-exported it. We can see in the preview, the watermark is still gone. And now we'll take a look at the final product. I've now opened the video that we've just exported so I'll give this a play now and as you can see the watermark has been removed from HitFilm Express as well as that annoying ding so as you can tell there is actually no sound on the video that I produced but when the watermark is displayed throughout it does ding once every two seconds pretty much making the video unusable as you can see now it's been exported the way we wanted it there's quite a lot of people searching for HitFilm Express watermark removers. There's no need to do anything complicated. If that is shown on, it simply means that you need to activate HitFilm Express by entering the email address and the password that you originally registered with. Hope that helps. If it has done, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe for more tech how-to tutorials.